Okay, so moving on from the basics, and I'd just like to show you a really quick way of doing an everyday makeup that is going to go with everything. So it's just great for every day. I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm going to use a cream for the eyes, which is a, a sort of natural beigey colour. And this is a, a bourgeois product, which is completely waterproof. So it's good because it's not going to crease at all. And I'm using this Ruby and Millie brush, which is nice and flat. So it, this is a good one for applying your eyeshadow with. I'm just going to use it all across the lids. And all I'm trying to do is just add a little bit of sheen, even out the area. And just create a very natural looking eye. I'm just going right across the lid, up to the socket line, which is this bit here just before the brow bone. And I'm taking it from there just slightly up towards the brow bone. And this is something you don't even need a brush to do. You can actually do this very easily with your fingers and it's very, very quick. So I'm just finishing off, blending it in with my fingers. And what, what's great about these products is they're very easy to use. And once they're on, they really do last all day. You could now leave it at that and not add any more. If you've got a little bit more time, you can do a little bit more contouring. And for that, it's good to use something like just a really flat, kind of taupey brown colour. And this is universal, more or less, for anyone. And just apply a little bit into the socket line, just to give a tiny bit more definition. But you almost want it to look like there's nothing there. And this is only really if you've got a little bit of extra time. If not, I would just stop with the, with the, um, the cream eyeshadow. And then to finish off, again, if you've got time, using the same colour, just look up for me. Just use a little bit close to the lashes on the bottom, just to give a tiny bit more definition. OK, I'm just going to use a pencil now on the eyes, but not to look like an eye pencil. I just want to enhance the sort of natural beauty without having it look like a definite line. So I'm just going to use a brown shade, and I'm literally just dotting it, if you can see, in between the lashes, just so it gives the appearance of thicker lashes and a little bit more definition around the eyes. And this is just a great thing to do for defining the eye, making the lashes look thicker and healthier. The next thing I'm going to use is eyelash curlers. I personally couldn't do my job without them. They are my must-have tool. And I think everyone should use them. I think everyone can benefit from curling their eyelashes. And what it does for you is it just opens up the eye, whether you're tired, whatever you, however you're feeling. When you use eyelash curlers, it gives you that instant awake look. And it, it's just incredibly beautifying, I think, for the eye area. The way to use them, and they do take a little bit of practice, but you should persevere. You should keep trying. Look down for me. It's to place them close to the roots, apply pressure, and then almost, it's like a pumping action. Now, I don't know if you can see the difference from one eye to the other there. I mean, it really does make an incredible difference when the mascara goes on. The difference between the curled lash and the, and the one that's not curled is, is huge. So I'm going to move on to the mascara now. One of the main points about mascara is to get right down to the roots when you apply it. And you see people just sort of doing the ends of the lashes. You really need to, look down for me, almost hold the brush at the roots I tend to do a little massage like that, which works really well for thickening at the roots. And then zigzag out and do this right across. To master that technique at home of really getting into the roots, the best way of doing it is to hold a mirror lower than your face, so you're looking down into the mirror. And that way, when you sort of open your eyes and lift up your brows, you can really get underneath into the roots and massage while you're looking down into the mirror. When you've finished applying your mascara, either use an old brush from an old mascara that you've washed out or invest in one of these great separating brushes. And these are just great for keeping it looking natural. 
if you've got good eyelashes on the bottom, you should accentuate them. If you if you haven't, if you've hardly got any lashes, sometimes putting mascara on them can make them look even more sparse. But as a general rule, yes, I say put mascara on the bottom lashes. If your top lashes are incredibly long naturally, do the bottom lashes first because otherwise when you look up to do the bottom lashes, you're going to end up with black dots all the way to the top of your um, eyelid there. Okay, I've, I've waited a moment for that to dry so I can go ahead and do the bottom lashes. Again, I'm just doing a little bit of a massage just at the roots there. And then I'm just going to gently separate and brush over and just take off any excess. If you've got very long lashes on the bottom, people often say that ends up, you know, they end up getting black marks along here, and especially because the eye area is quite greasy. A good tip would be when you've finished applying your mascara, just to take off any of the mascara from the end of the lashes. So just sort of remove it slightly from the end, and that'll help to stop that problem of the mascara coming off underneath. Okay, I'm going to go on to the eyebrows now. I'm just going to brush them up to see. Jessica's got naturally good eyebrows, but I can see from looking that this one just needs a little bit more definition. There's slightly less hair on this brow than there is on this one. And when you're doing your eyebrows, especially for a natural day look, you don't want them to look harsh. You don't want them to look as if they've got pencil particularly in, although you can use pencil. And the trick is to find the right colour. So because Jessica has pale hair, I'm going to use a very natural, again, I'm going back to this taupey colour, which I've used already on her eyes, so it's quite a good product to have because you can use it to line underneath the eyes, you can use it for the socket line, you can also use it to fill in your brows. It's just that great sort of grey-brown, very natural colour that suits almost everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to be emphasising the highest point of the brow and I'm almost brushing the hair back there just to get a little bit of the powder onto the skin and just filling in that gap. And it's really as simple as that. I don't really want to do anything else to the brow. Okay, last but not least, the lips. Now, I put some lip balm on before I started this whole process, so that's a really good time to put lip balm on when you first start doing your makeup, so by the time you get to your lips, it would have really sunk in. The lips will be moist, but they're not going to be gloopy at all. Now, I'm going to use a very, very natural lip pencil. And this is one of my favourite lip pencils. And I'm just going to slightly even out Jessica's lips. Now, if you look at your lips in a mirror, you can tend to see if there's any sort of little bits that need filling in. So I'm just going to slightly... Add a little bit more this corner and just around here. Just a little bit of evening out. And how much of this you need to do depends on how much corrective work you need to do on your lips. If, they're, if they are looking a little bit lopsided, you might want to sort of slightly bring out one side. But in general, you want it to look very natural. You don't want it to be outside the natural lip line. And you just want to give a little bit of definition. And then you can finish off by just gliding that across the lips as a good natural base and then use your fingers to blend in. So that's just a really quick way of doing a natural lip. If you want you can stop there, just use the pencil over the lips on top of the lip balm, maybe even just add a little bit more lip balm and not do anything else. Otherwise you can Go ahead and use a little bit of gloss after that or you can use something like um, a tinted lip balm which is always a nice thing to use. So I'm just using a tiny bit of tinted lip balm over the top of the pencil just to add moisture and to make the lips look really healthy and natural. And I think that is just a great everyday natural looking makeup.